Hey guys, it's Nihongo Johnny. Minasan go nichiwa, Nihongo Johnny desu. Welcome back to the 31 Nights of Halloween. My name is Johnny and I talk about all things paranormal in Japan. And today we're gonna be talking about the Red Room or the Red Room Curse. In Japanese, this is Akai Heya. And Akai means red and Heya means room. So this is literally the Red Room. This is the urban legend of a pop-up that appears. And this pop-up will be red, and it will have black writing on it. And it will ask you in Japanese, do you like blank? It doesn't really have a subject, it will just say, Anata wa suki desu ka? Which means, do you like or do you like it? And no matter how hard you try to click out of this pop-up, it will come back again and again and again. And eventually, it will reveal the entire message. And this message will be, Akai heya ga suki desu ka? Meaning, do you like the red room? In Japanese, there really isn't a plural, so it can mean the red room or red rooms in general. And in some versions of this legend, you'll hear a child's voice in the pop-up saying, Do you like the red room? Other versions, you don't hear anything. But eventually, you hear a child's voice from behind you. And I find that even more creepy than the pop-up itself saying it. After clicking out of this pop-up one more time, the screen goes pitch black, and then you start to feel dizzy and very uneasy. The screen will come back on with a list of names, and those will be the names of the previous victims that died from this curse. And at this point, everything goes black and you seem to pass out. That's when you commit suicide, spreading your blood all over the walls, making a red room. Some other versions of this urban legend tell of someone killing you and then spreading your blood all over the room. No matter what, you're creating a red room and you're dying. You're pretty much doomed from the moment you see this pop up. This legend became so big throughout all of Japan that people made games and websites based off of this. I pretty much don't want to fool around with any of this. But I do have two stories for you guys. One of these stories is true. The other one I think is just an urban legend. And let's start with that one. In this urban legend, there was a schoolboy, and he was a complete shut-in. He never went out, he was a hikikomori, someone who never wants to go out. He would spend his entire days on the computer. Maybe he was looking up conspiracy theories or spending the entire day on Reddit no sleep, who knows. But anyways, one day at school, his friend told him of the Red Room website. And this intrigued the boy so much that he wanted to go home and figure out if he could find the website for himself. The moment he got home, he spent hours and hours finding this website, and he almost gave up, but in the middle of the night, he got the pop-up. His heart stopped, and he was petrified. I don't know why, because he was looking for this. I don't know what he was expecting. But he was scared, and he tried to click out. He kept clicking X, but it would come back and come back and come back. Eventually it said, Anata wa akai heya ga suki desu ka? Or, do you like the red room? He tried to close out of this one more time when the screen went blank. When the screen came back on, it was a list of names. The last name being the name of the friend who told him about the website. Suddenly he got really dizzy and everything went black. The next day he did not show up at school. After a week or so, people started talking about him. They thought something bad happened, and it did. The police notified the school that the boy was dead. He killed himself, spreading his blood all over the room. Once again, I think this is just an urban legend. I don't think this story is true. But this next one is. It was even in the Japanese newspaper and all over the news. This is the story of the Sasebo slashing. And this happened in 2004, in Sasebo, Nagasaki. This girl murdered her classmate during lunch break at school. They never actually released the name of the girl because she was underage, but many people online called her Natsumi. But they did, however, release the name of the victim. And this girl's name was Satomi. So one day, during their school lunch break, this girl slit the throat of poor Satomi. She used a razor blade and made the blood go everywhere. By the time she walked back to her class, her clothes were covered in blood. And the teacher started freaking out. She demanded to know what happened. So Natsumi led her to the body of Satomi. They called the police immediately and arrested the girl. 
The girl refused to talk or eat for hours upon hours, but eventually she broke down. When asked why she killed Satomi, she said that her classmate made fun of her on social media. She would constantly call her a goody two-shoes and make fun of her body weight. And that's why she decided to kill her. She was so angry and couldn't take it anymore. When the police did their investigation, they discovered something horrifying. On Natsumi's computer, the red room was her number one bookmark. Natsumi was put into a mental institution and later released back into society. No one knows who she is to this day. And it's so creepy when you think about it. Do you think it could happen again? I don't know if the Red Room website had anything to do with this killing. I don't even know if this gave her motivation. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and hit the bell for more notifications. And I hope to see you guys in the next 31 nights of Halloween.